Hey girly, welcome to my video. Today I'm using the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette volume 2 and I'm going to be creating two looks with one palette. My name's Emily and I do makeup tutorials so if you're interested in those type of videos, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. For my first look, I'm going to be using the shade Not My Journey and I'm using the E22 brush to apply this all over my lid. Also, I applied a piece of tape at the outer corner of my eyes because I feel like it gives me a sharper edge than when I just use concealer and it's less messy. Now I'm taking the shade Stay True and I'm using the E17 brush and I'm only going to be applying this shade onto my crease. It looks a little messy at first, but just trust the process. Now I'm taking the shade Therapy Sesh and I'm using the JH33 brush. This is from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe Collection. And I'm going to be using this shade to blend those colors out on my crease. After blending, take the shade Not My Journey again and pack some more all over your lid. Next, I'm taking a random flat brush to do my cut crease and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. If there's any primer I would recommend, it's this one because it dries perfectly and it allows eyeshadow to stick onto your lid and it's very pigmented as you can see the orange on the other eye. Now I'm taking the orange shade called My Man and I'm using the Miss Cosmetics flat brush to apply this. Make sure you don't tap off the excess powder when you grab this eyeshadow color because you want this to apply evenly onto your lid. Also, girly, I'm so close to getting monetized on YouTube, so if you can, please watch the entire video so that it helps me get the rest of my watch hours on here. I would really appreciate it. Now I'm taking the shade Therapy Sesh and I'm applying this on that outer corner of my eye. And I'm going to be overlapping this with the shade Stay True. And on top of that shade, I'm taking Not My Journey so that it connects all together. After that, we can safely remove our piece of tape and start working on our under eye. I'm going to be taking the shade Not My Journey and the brush E29. And I'm going to be blending this out on my lower lash line. And now I'm taking the shade Not My Journey to apply on my inner corner and on my brow bone area. Now I'm taking my eyelashes. I totally forgot which ones I used for this video, but I will have them down below in the details if you guys are interested. They're from KJ Lashes. So yeah friends, this is the end of this first tutorial. If you're enjoying this video so far, give this video a thumbs up so that it lets me know that you guys enjoy my tutorials. For this look, I'm going to be going in with the shade Living My Best. <laughs> Living, I'm sorry, my best. And I'm going in with the brush M441 and I'm going to be blending this out all over my lid. Now I'm taking the shade Oh Hello and I'm going in with the M433 brush and I'm going to be focusing this shade only on the outer corner of my eye and also do not go above the crease. Now 
Now I'm taking some more of that same shade and I'm just building up the intensity. Now I'm taking some more of the shade Living My Best again and I'm just using that to blend out the shade Crazy. Now I'm using the shade Crazy and I'm going in with the M573 brush and I'm going to be applying this also on that outer corner but make sure you blend this color very good because it's a dark cranberry shade and they're very pigmented so it can get messy so make sure you do a lot of blending just trust the process. Now I'm using the shade Temptress. This is the darkest shade on this palette and I'm using the Wet n Wild flat brush to apply this on my outer V area. And make sure you do not go above the crease or it's gonna be too dark and it's gonna mess up the whole look. And after that, I'm gonna be cutting my crease with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. If you struggle with cut creases, it's easier if you do tapping motions with your brush and you drag it downwards so that your line comes out straighter. Now I'm taking the shade I'm in it and I'm using the Sephora number no. 15 flat brush to apply this on top of the primer. Now I'm taking the shade Live In My Best again and I'm taking the exact same brush and I'm applying this on the outer area of where I applied the primer and make sure you tap this until it looks blended before you apply the next shade. Now I'm using the shade Crazy and I'm still using the M573 brush to apply this on top of the shade Live In My Best. Now I'm blending in the shade Temptress and I'm only keeping this on the outer V area. This part is optional but to make this eye look sharper I like to apply the Believe Beauty concealer on the outer corner of my eyes just to give it like that cat eye effect. Now I'm going in with the shade Ride or Diamonds and I'm going to mix this with the shade I'm in it. I'm using the JH42 brush to apply this on my brow bone. For my under eye, I'm using the shade Crazy with the brush JH43 and I'm going to be applying this all around my lash line. Now I'm going in with the E36 brush and the shade Live In My Best and I'm using this shade to blend those colors together. Now I'm taking the brush M432 and I'm using the shade Temptress and I'm going to apply this tightly onto my lash line. For my inner corner, I'm also going to be mixing the shade Rider Diamonds and I'm in it and I'm still using the JH42. For my eyelashes, I'm using the style Blair. These are from KJ Lashes. I will have them down below in the description. If you guys are interested in purchasing these, they're very affordable. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. If you made it this far, please comment the word oranges down below. This is the finishing look. Thank you so much for watching once again. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in my next video.